Hey, good evening everyone. This is another session on palmistry and we will continue with the timing uh, of the lines and the timing of the general events. And of course, uh, in this particular palm also, I'm aware about, you know, some of the information about this person. Uh, the person has been kind enough to sort of share me certain important and critical moments in his life. So, uh, we, uh, so the way I would basically... Uh, frame this particular analysis would be first we will be discussing about you know the important events that did happen in the person's life um, uh, second uh, we will also be uh, understanding uh, you know uh, some important concepts about the job line in this particular palm i do see a pattern and it's important to uh, discuss about that I'll also be discussing a bit uh, about uh, the healing of the mantras because I do see some healing is happening in this particular spam and I wanted to, you know, point that out as well uh, as to how you can see a recovery happening in a particular palm. So these will be the major, uh, you know, things uh, that I would be covering. Of course, before starting with the video, I would like to extend my gratitude to all the higher gurus, to Lord Shiva, Lord Shani, and my friend Siddharth, who have been, uh, whose support have been very strongly there from the other side. Uh, I also uh, would love to extend my gratitude to all of you, to you know, always uh, being very supportive, motivational, and writing very positive comments, encouraging me and uh, pushing me towards, you know, doing even more and more towards palmistry. And uh, it, uh, you know, it becomes to me as uh, a second nature, you know, it, it palmistry has become very close to me. Um, I would also like to, uh, you know, comment here that I have also become very, very intuitive. You know, if uh, let's say some certain person is there whose palm has to be read, I have read his palm and he is coming again, I can just sense, you know, I will start feeling the vibrations of that person or I will start getting the memories of the person and this becomes very common when you you know get into people's auras and you know you do uh, you get very very intuitive and it's a very I'm, I'm very fortunate in that sense you know so uh yeah i just wanted to share that but let's get started with this particular video now a uh, few things to begin with first we have to understand that this person has undergone through a very difficult phase in his marriage right and this typically happened uh, around the ages from 30 to 34 okay now we'll try to understand where we can see that and what are the indications that are indicating towards difficulty in terms of the marriage now first of all look into the nature of the lifeline it's very important to observe at times you see the lifeline is uh, I would say probably it's becoming too much driven, right? Too much driven or sucked into the mount of mood, right? It's it's not having its nice graceful curve, uh, you know, at times which it is known for, right? It's known for its nice graceful curve, something like this. But uh, but what we do see in this particular palm that instead of that, it's going right straight across and that is one of the issues so that means that the lifeline is not getting attracted towards venus it is getting attracted towards moon that means moon is much more stronger or it can mean that venus has lost lost its power now let us see which which category does this belong to now if if moon was very strong you would have seen a lot of positive signs here a lot of activity here the activity is there i will not deny but it's not over activity but let us look into the nature of the lifeline under the venus mount now under the venus mount that is over here you can clearly see how faded the lifeline has become just to ensure you that you see uh, what i'm trying to indicate here you see this zone right clearly you can see that the lifeline is not very dark and this clearly suggests that the venus current that the venus strength has gone a bit lowered right so maybe in this chart we have to look deep into how venus is positioned 
you know venus might be getting impacted through some pattern maybe saturn is aspecting venus or maybe some other combination right so venus is under some sort of an issue now second of all we also understand that this largely happened between uh, 30 to 34 years of age now when we look into the lifeline there are no major indicators as such but when we come to the 34 age you can clearly see a line that is uh, sorry for using this but you can see a line cutting across very very clearly and straight away hinting or sort of moving towards the heart line right it's sort of moving towards the heart line and this can indicate towards an obstacle of sorts right uh, so this does indicate that this can indicate a very important or critical event happening in this person's life roughly around 34 uh, or 30, 33, 32 or so. And similarly, this the mid of the Saturn is around 28, 29. Around this would be 31, 32. You can clearly see the lines that are there. You can see the straight line. You can see few lines falling down like this. And then you can see more lines and then you can see lines falling down. Right, so this phase, right, is roughly from 30 to 35, and you can clearly see that there are a lot of conflicts, right, and most of these lines are moving towards, uh, you know, towards Mars, which indicates conflicts in emotional matters. So the person might have gotten into a lot of conflicts, and the other important thing, right, it's very important to understand what happens when Venus is not very strong in a particular person's chart or hand what happens is that this person will be too involved in work right will will be very can be a workaholic and might not enjoy harmony and happiness in life because maybe in the psychology it has gone that life is serious life is very hard uh, which it is i'm not denying that but then you need to also have fun at times you know the value of fun is also there and that is what the learning is for this particular soul right so we can clearly see this event right 30 from 34 happening in this particular palm and we can see how it is reflecting right now let us see have further more important uh, aspects that we can see now the other important incident that happened in this person's life is roughly around 29 30 when the person had a difficulty in job and again the same line right which which is timing around 34 on the lifeline begins to come at around 30 uh, when it comes to the job line so if the person is really asked what was the nature of problems at 30 with respect to your job and what happened in your marriage around 34 was there any some sort of similarity and the answer would be yes because primarily it's the same line that is causing some distortion in his life around 34 or 33 and the same thing might have happened around 30. Now, one way of looking at it is that if the pattern, if you see in someone's hand a pattern is happening around 30 but when you time it on the lifeline it's coming around at an advanced stage that is around 35 you need to tell the person, you know, whatever happened at or around the ages of 30 you need to learn quickly, right, whatever the lesson was, because the similar pattern will come back to your life around 34 and you better be ready for that. Now, if the person is ready, if the person learns his lesson truly, what you will start observing, and I've seen this in few palms, that this line will start shortening up and it will just become like a small line like that which means its effect is now limited only to this line and to a very low less lesser space if the person does not learn his lesson then this line can get extended further causing damage to the lifeline headline and also uh, the heart line if worse then maybe to the marriage line as well that's why the longer the lines are the more negative impact they can create especially the horizontal ones hopefully this point is clear and the timing part is you know you have to correlate you have to see different lines right that's why every line can have a dual timing right that's very critical so we can clearly say at around 29 30 uh, how it's affecting the job now let us also understand what's happening around the mount of venus now if you look into the lifeline it's actually sort of reviving you can see partially it's there and then you can see the curve also coming up 
right you can very clearly see you cannot say that the line is not there you can clearly say that the line is there it's not with the same intensity and you can see multiple mercury lines that are coming up and it's 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 sort of covering up right uh, the mercury lines are sort of coming up and they are sort of trying to blend in the lifeline and that's where mercury and venus are very strong friends now th there is a high possibility that this person will have a very strong mercury uh, which is assisting venus and helping venus to rise so though the person will go through some troubles initially in the relationship but it is similar to a nij bhang yoga which means mercury is a friend of venus his communication skills his ability to understand a situation his intelligence will be able to cover up for his weaknesses of venus and this person has been practicing chants for a long time and you can see the healing effect you can clearly see that there is a lot of activity which is beginning to happen here it is uh, you know like how things recover right when you get a wound then slowly you see oh the wound gets covered and then the lines come back and then it starts looking properly you can clearly see it is healing it is clearly healing and which is a very strong sign that the person has been practicing meditation uh, and maybe getting into chanting so whenever you see such healing lines coming into the palm always always understand that this person might be very spiritual and might be enhancing himself in that particular direction now the other important feature that i did want to talk about is the job line right the job line is looking really good in this particular person's palm see how strong it is the interesting part is you see how it breaks and shifts to the right hand side again it breaks again it moves to the right hand side it's almost like a ladder right if you put it's like just going more right and more right and then in the end also you can see another branch coming in this is a typical uh, you know sign that does indicate that in the second half of his life the person will do really well uh, a shift in event especially financially the person will start rising to a higher rank will start doing better now as the lines are moving towards jupiter leadership qualities ability to manage people ability to uh, manage his teammates ability to lead them ability to psychologically understand them will come very sharply and quickly to this person and the person might rise to a very good degree of success these sort of sharp, sharp changes on the lifeline uh, sorry on the job line are seen after uh, i've seen it in in the hands of advanced uh, uh, meditators uh, chanting people so they will have such advanced marks which means that the person has finally learned his lessons right and the divine is blessing the person uh, and uh, and uplifting him at some point you will understand and 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 you know because we are type uh, talking about timing you will get to an understanding that timing is just an illusion time itself is an illusion the minute you are learning the right lessons the minute you are trying to move in the right direction you will be blessed and everything will start falling in place on its own like magic but it's not magic it's largely because of your own efforts which is being appreciated from the other side of the world hence time is important timing is critical but at the same time you don't have to be attached to it and learn your lessons in the right way and understand that time itself is an illusion hopefully you got few more insights from this video i'm shwetank into palmistry do check my channel for more till then take care have a brilliant day bye bye